everything that you've seen up to this point is Unity 2017.2 and the Unity 2017 product. That was made in Unity 2017 out of the box. Um, and to recap, some of the things you've seen today, you've seen Tile Map, the 2D tool set, you've seen the Cinema Machine in 2D, and you've seen cross-platform AR tools for AR Core, AR Kit, and uh, we also work with Euphoria too. They're great too. Um, now, I talked to you at the top of the show about performance, and I said that we are working on some new performance tools that are going to take Unity to the next level of performance so you can achieve the next level of creativity. And I'm really excited to announce our next speaker who's here to show you those performance tools. He's the co-founder of the company. It's Joachim Ante. When we started Unity, our focus was very much on building a game engine that is simple and easy to use. By doing that, we enabled more developers to create games. And we really achieved our goal. Now, over the last couple of years, my focus has really been on how to bring Unity to the next level of performance. When your game has great performance by default, you can use that to create richer worlds, more units simulated, more complex simulations, or simply run on more hardware. Please welcome Joachim Ante. Thank you. So we've been working hard on giving you a new way to create game code in C Sharp with great performance by default. So to show that, we have a demo that was created by our friends at Nordios. Nordios is an independent game developer from Belgrade, Serbia. And they created one of the most successful mobile sports games called Top 11. They also have a new MOBA coming out soon for iOS and Android called Spell Souls Dual of Legends. And they were really eager to find out how to use our new tech to power future games. So they built a tech demo showcasing massive scale simulation using the artwork from one of their mobile games. Let's take a look. Yeah, right? <laughs> that is pretty amazing. So Nordios, they took the assets from their mobile game and an early build of the C-sharp job system and component system. And they built the simulation code for this from scratch in just five weeks. 
So what you can see here is uh, 40,000 minions. And they're walking around doing all these things. And this is basically the simulation running at more than 60 frames per second. And we're running, every frame we're running the full simulation. We're doing rendering and we're doing animation of all those 40,000 units. So there's a lot of stuff happening here. Let's take a look. So we can zoom in on the units all the way down here. And um, also we can cast these spells. So let's, let's check that out. Let's find a nice angle here. All right, and then let's just hit it. <laughs> and there's a couple of really cool effects here. I also really like this, um, this angel that comes flying in here like that. <laughs> All right, cool. Um, so the main thing is when I was blowing up all those units, you can see the frame rate is still running at a rock solid 60 frames per second. And all these units, they are actually individually animated units. So what's happening here, if we look at this, you can see basically there's a C-sharp job which figures out which animation each of these units should play and at what time it is. And then there's a vertex shader which basically does the animation sampling and, um, and the skinning so that we can just render a massive amount of these units. And the minions they are also walking in these formations. So for the C-sharp job system, we have some APIs. Like for example, we have a new low-level NuffMesh API. And with that NuffMesh API, you can from a job do pathfinding. So each formation performs pathfinding to figure out where they should go next. And then each minion inside of that formation it uses the enough mesh to basically stay on it. So every single, every single agent, every frame, it moves along the enough mesh to stay on it. And one thing I can also do is I can spawn some more units because clearly 35,000 units is not enough, right? So, all right, so now we have 44 and that's clearly not enough. So we put some more and some more, and some more, and some more, and then some more. And now we have 100,000 units. <laughs> All right. And of course, you know, we can zoom in here, and that's, I mean, it's, let's say it's a little dense. <laughs> but it's running, it's still running over 30 frames per second. And of course, I can just blow all this stuff up here like that. And we're not really, we're not really uh, losing much frame rate when we do that. I mean, we're instantiating, destroying objects, doing all these things, and just the frame rate just stays rock solid. So. We have three pieces of technology that really come together here in this demo. So um, the first one I want to show you is um, the timeline profiler. Or, I mean, uh, sorry, I want to show you the C-sharp job system. And we're going to look at it in the timeline, in the profiler. So here we see all these jobs running. So I'm just going to pick one of those. Yeah, let's, let's take that. All right, so let me zoom up. Sorry about that. Um, let me zoom in on, it, on that a bit. So, so what we can see here is that first, first of all, all of the game code is running on jobs. There's very little actually running on the main thread. So what you can see here, we have some code that runs the NuffMesh queries for the formations. 
Um, we have the code which basically deals with figuring out what animation to play on each of these units. Then over here, we have the jobs which are responsible for making sure that these minions avoid each other and don't run into each other. Um, they're moving around in, the, in these jobs here. Um, and then we even have jobs here doing, uh, doing raycasts. So we can schedule jobs that basically in batch do a bunch of raycasts and running multicore, and that gives some really significant speed ups. So essentially, all the game code is written in, uh, in C sharp jobs. And there's very little work happening on the main thread. And we're getting 96% um, multicore utilization on this 10 core PC. <laughs> All right. So this demo also uses our new entity component system. And the primary goal of it is performance. We're making it so that instantiating, adding, removing components at massive scale becomes feasible. In this demo, when we shoot arrows, we instantiate thousands of entities in the same frame, and there's just no noticeable impact on performance. And most importantly, the component system, it manages all the memory for you of all these components. And so CPUs they get the best performance when all the memory is accessed completely linearly. So the data for the components, it's tightly packed. And the system for the minion game logic, when it runs, we're actually iterating over each of these, uh, these components, the minion data, completely linearly in memory. And that gives some really significant performance boosts. And so the default approach to writing game logic in this new system is also the most efficient. And the new component system is also built with c -sharp jobs in mind. So it lets you easily write modular component systems, and it makes, makes writing the multi-threaded game code really, really simple. And lastly, we're working on a compiler technology, and that's specifically for these c -sharp jobs. This compiler is quite different from normal compilers in that it really understands math and geometry on a deep level. And it can perform optimizations, math optimizations, that other compilers just don't do. CPUs, they can perform single instructions on multiple pieces of data in parallel. And as a result, they can make the code run faster. And this is complex to do by hand, usually. So our compiler automatically vectorizes your code, your C-sharp code, and it generates these vectorized instructions specifically for your target platform. So here is some of the results that we got from this new compiler technology. So these are four different jobs that we have uh, running in our, in our demo. And compared to Mono, we get something between five to 13x speed ups. And that's. <laughs> yeah. that, that's pretty good, right? Um, and, and that really means that code, once you write your code in this C -sharp job system, then you can use either the new compiler or Mono. But usually, you'll probably want to use the faster option. And you just, you just, you just, you just put an attribute on your C-sharp job, and then it runs faster. Um, and you know, performance, you can use it for a lot of things. You know, just because you have better performance, you could also use it to reduce battery consumption, for example, because this compiler actually makes your code run more efficient. So C-sharp jobs new component system, and new compiler technology. And combined, I think these features, they will dramatically change what you can achieve with Unity. I did it.
Hey. Hi. Hey. Um, so here's the key question. When is all of this available for right. these great people? So that's the best part. So the C Sharp job system will ship in uh, Unity 18.1. Um, and that includes basically the C Sharp job system itself, safe scheduling of jobs, and a new container library that makes it really easy and really efficient to write uh, multi-threaded code. Also, we will have a preview, an early preview of the new entity component system. And we're going to ship that with full source code in C Sharp. Yeah. <laughs> And then later in 2018, we will ship the C Sharp compiler technology. And that's when it ships, you just enable an attribute and your code runs faster. That's great.